According to a 1997 analysis by the General Accountability Office, the B-2 bomber can only be flown in or exposed to extremely favorable conditions, such as pleasant temperatures, low levels of humidity, and a lack of rain. A combination material used to build the skin of the B-2 bomber absorbs radar signals, this makes the plane very hard for enemy radar to detect, but the same ram or radar-absorbing material that covers its body fails when exposed to the presence of water, thus, that's the reason. A gallon of ram paint may cost you $5,000. Bombers are more likely to be detected by radar if they are exposed to weather conditions that can penetrate their skin and weaken the material, so what the hell this B-2 is doing in the rain at all? Bad weather may wreak havoc on the B-2 bomber's engines as well. They lost $2 billion the last time they let a B-2 bomber remain uncovered in the rain. Rain can speed up the process of cooling, damaging the engines that are meant to work at extreme temperatures. In a year of testing that started in March 1997, the B-2 bombers could only complete their assigned tasks 26% of the time. The B-2 skin's weakness was a major factor in the failures in our study.